Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Today we're going to be doing a, an arrow penetration test. And what I've got here is I've got two pieces of plywood. One piece is a half inch thick, one piece is a quarter inch thick. And I've got them screwed together. And then I've got them screwed into my, uh, my paper tuning uh, rack that I've got here. And uh, this is really the best medium that I can think to, to test penetration and durability with just one shot. Some of these arrows are ones that I've only got one of. So I've got one shot at, at, at this deal and that's about it. Uh, what we're going to be shooting today is, is several different kinds of arrows. I've got a Victory uh, V-Force that weighs 346 grains. I've got an Ultralight uh, Carbon Revolution Speed Pro Max, which weighs 287 grains. So that's awful light. I've got the new Victory VAP with the penetrator head on it. This one's going to weigh in at uh, 364. I, I was hoping to have a gold tip, but I didn't have any gold tips left. But I do have a Vapor uh, Hunter Series gold tip. Uh, this is their cheaper... Uh, cheaper made arrows by, by gold tip. This is a Vapor 400 and uh, it weighs in at 369. And the last thing I got here is uh, an Easton Flatline and this one's gonna weigh in at uh, 381. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this 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 uh, rack here up there in front of my target and I'm gonna be shooting just through these in, in different spots to see what kind of penetration we get out of those. Now the bow that I'm gonna be shooting all these out of is a 2011 New Breed Nemesis. Uh, this Nemesis is set at 60 pounds. I was hoping to do um, this test at 70 pounds because this, some of these arrows are a little bit lightweight. Basically, the Speed Pro arrow is so lightweight. Uh, I backed her down to 60 pounds. Just I don't want to I don't want to ruin my bow just to, to shoot that arrow. So it's it's even a little bit light for what I'm shooting at 60 pounds. But I think I'm close enough that I'm gonna be okay. Uh, these New Breed bows are awful tough. So I'm shooting this thing, uh, New Breed Nemesis. 27 and a half inch draw, and I'm shooting it at 60 pounds. So uh, we'll, we'll give it a few shots here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrow the camera in on this piece of wood. So uh, we'll do that, and we'll, we'll see which one penetrates the best. This first arrow is an Easton Flatline. This one weighs in at 381 grains. Next arrow is a Victory B Force. This one weighs in at 346 grains. Now we're shooting the Vapor by Gold Tip. This one weighs in at 369 grains. <laughs> Now we're shooting the Ultralight Speed Pro Max Arrow. This one weighs in at 287 grains. Last but not least, we got the Victory VAP. This one weighs in at 364 grains. I go ahead and Okay, so here's the Vapor, here's the Easton, the Flatline, here's the other Victory, here's the lightweight arrow from, from uh, Speed Pro, the Speed Pro Max arrow, which I'm amazed it got that much penetration. It out penetrated these others by quite a bit. So for a lighter weight arrow, I'm surprised it got that much penetration. Now the one arrow you're not seeing here is the Victory VAP, and that's because it blew all the way through and it actually stuck into my deer target up there. And let's check the how, see how the arrow is. Of course, it ripped all the veins off. Yeah, it did, Daddy. This is the victory of the pizza. Fine. Egg. Things fine. I have to refletch it, but other than that, it's fine. Okay, so you can see here, this is the back of the target. Uh, the two arrows that performed the best were the Speed Pro arrow, the lightweight one, and the Victory VAP. And I have to say, hands down, the VAP performed the best. That was awesome penetration. Uh, the Nemesis is a pretty fast bow, but even set at 60 pounds, after the first few arrows hit, and they, they only went through, you know, what are they through there? Oh, four to six inches maybe, uh, down here. I didn't expect this one to blow all the way through, and I was really, really amazed that it actually did. 
So, um, by far, the VAP beat all the other ones, hands down. So, uh, the Speed Pro Aero did a lot better than what I thought it would. I was, I was really impressed with the Speed Pro Aero as well. So, um, I have to declare the winner of this the VAP. Uh, and I've, I've had some experience with these arrows hunting too. If you guys haven't seen my hog hunt, I recently took a 230 pound Russian boar with one of these victory heads and I blew all the way through him from his back rib all the way up through his shoulder. So um, definitely check these VAPs out. You can go to Victory's website and check these out. Uh, they are definitely worth looking into. Speed Pro Arrows too. They, for lighter weight arrows, they need a little bit more credit than what I've given them. Uh, that's an excellent, excellent penetration for a lightweight arrow. And boy, those things got to be smoking fast coming out of that bow too. So check out these Victories, these VAPs at their website. And uh, you can find these Speed Pro Arrows at uh, High Country's website, highcountryarchery.com. So we'll put it right here for you so you can check out High Country's website and uh, check out these Speed Pro Arrows. And we'll put Victories for you here too so you can check out these VAPs. But hands down to VAP1, close second to Speed Pro Arrows, and I'm very, very impressed with both of them. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, be sure to visit the website, hikesoutdoors.com. I like good times, good wine, good smoke, and a five-piece bed. And a, oh, I can't.